What's up? Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my channel playlist for interview tutorials on lots of sculpting, animation, music, and more by clicking on my channel name, then going to the playlist section. Follow me on Dreams. I'm Young Tax YouTube on Dreams. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a game that I'm working on. This is actually part two, a continuation to the first music tutorial that I actually created. But I created that whenever I didn't know the user interface of Dreams. Since I worked with a digital audio workstation before, or DAW, I pretty much knew how to use everything, but I didn't know where everything was in this new program. So I just had to navigate the UI, the user interface. Um, now that I know where everything is, I can pretty much combine the information I already know with dreams and thus while we have a part two to this tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, Super Dreams Fighter. Really, really cool. Really, 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 really excellent. I have about 13 characters so far. Uh, about 20 is um, usually the amount that you should put in a fighting game or at least 15 so we are getting there and you can be your homie so we are doing pretty dang good doing pretty dang good and of course there's other characters so uh, if you are interested in that, another reason to follow and subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and get into the music tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and go to music. You don't have to go to music in order to do this. You can click on anything, any one of these, but if you go to music, then this is a quick option to instantly get you into this mode right here. And then you can go ahead and click on, um, leave this mode modes this and that's how you would get to this so this is your timeline lay down a timeline this is where you put everything let's go ahead and talk about how to record your vocals this is how you do it i have a condenser or compressor i forgot the word it's one of the two microphone and this is the microphone that usually rappers would use or even vo voice over people so this is really really good you don't need an expensive one running around 50 to 100 dollar range and you're set uh, you might need a pop filter or a styrofoam cushion for your microphone. So you will lay this down, then you see wave lengths. These are wave lengths. Those are the wave lengths right there. Let's go ahead and talk about how you can clear up and edit your vocals. You'll need EQ for that. Turn that on. Over here's your highs, over here's your lows, over here's your mids, over here's your uh, high mids. So if you were to lower this, if your voice sounds tinny, lower you this. Uh, or if it sounds like a, you're, you're talking through a telephone, lower that. Um, you can also try lowering that also. If um, your voice sounds too muddy, lower these right here. Don't You don't have to lower them too far. And if you need to put bass in your voice, heighten these or heighten this one. I wouldn't heighten this one too much, but you can mess around with it and that's effectively how you clear up your vocals. Your waveforms right here. So a compressor is used to try to make the ones that look smaller as big as the ones over here. So you can mess around with this. Usually I have to put it over here. Um, but you can mess around with it as you please. You also can raise your volume right here, and this is how you mix and master. You would go to Sound Gadgets, mix and master right here. I want in square. Assign the channel that you want for this right here, and that's how you uh, work. That's how you master your vocals, which is pretty much getting at the right volume, so it doesn't hurt your ears, but it's not too low. Just right just right that's how you do all that combined with everything that i just told you is mixing and mastering you can also change the pitch of your voice uh use the legato for this right here should be right here um at least one of those you have to do that and then here's your delay and reverb delay echo reverb hallway type sound effect so you can mess around with that as you please and those are the main ones that you will need to get used to right here you have slice row mapper so you can mess around with this as you please um then what you'd want to do is press l1 and x on this and then you get your slice row mapper so you can mess around with this as you please as you please as you please as you please 
You can also trim your music if it's a music file by pressing L1 and X and going into Slice Row Mapper. You should be able to trim this somehow. Um, it might have to be a sound effect. So if it's like this, I might have to change it to that. It might have to be the right kind of thing in order to do that. So let's go ahead and close out of it and pull out our sound effects. So if you want to make music in Dreams PS4, this is what you would search to find music that's already finished. This is your sound effects. This is your search sound um, effects like gunshots. And uh, you can hover above these things to read them if you want to. And this is your instruments. You usually need two instruments in order to make a trap beat or a beat. Um, at least and you can look up on Google which instruments complement each other and the better you get at it The more complicated stuff you can create they might make it to where you can use USB devices I'm not sure if they will so stay tuned for that. Uh, I can't 100% Guarantee that they will I think somebody figured out how to do it But they may have took it away just for you just so you guys know if you want to search that up So I'm just gonna lay this down, and then I'm gonna try to trim the music, press L1 and X, go to piano roll, not piano roll, go to this. Okay, here we are. You just have to hit that, uh, whatever I just hit right there. That's all you have to do. This is how you trim your music, so just mess around with this. I am young text though, but um, <laughs> Just mess around with this right here, and this is how you effectively trim your music. This is piano roll right here. This is how you can set down music like manually, like individually, draw notes for stuff, but you have to go up here to draw the notes and then press R2, I think. So that's how you would do it that way if you wanna get really precise with things, but I don't like doing that. I like just using freeform view going up here to a pitulator, pressing that, raising this to four, three and six. To leave this mode, just press this. To enter into it, just press this, and then just record. And this is how you easily make beats. You can also mess around with the chord settings also. You can mess around with these numbers as you please. Three and six seems to work for me, so let's go ahead and begin. So we have it, we have it, we have it, we have it. To delete this, all you have to do is press this. You might have to end this right here. So we have our first instrument sound completed. Sometimes you'll have to change these in order to get this to where it's like this. So mess around with this. Sometimes you have to change it to once. So mess around with that as you please, as you please. You can add a reverb and delay to this. That'll smoothen up your vocals also, but it'll also like make the transitions between notes sound better also. And that's also what legato can be used for, be used for. So now that we have this, we can change the pitch of our beat, or we can look up on Google which things go well together, piano, guitar, stuff like that. You can look that up on Google as you want to. So this is how you easily make music in Dreams PS4. Usually, uh, like again, if you're trying to make beats, you'll want at least two of these or more. And let's go ahead and show you guys the effects. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the effects that, oh my gosh. <coughs> let's go ahead and show you guys the effects you can put in here. So this bubble is actually an effect. Search the effects. That's how you add effects. You can also put instruments in here also. So mess around with that to pretty much, you know, easily make uh, different types of instruments and effects. 
These two dots are envelopes. That's how you make fade out and fade in effects. Right here, you can speed up your track. Right here, you change it to once. And here's a way you can change the volume. This is the metronome. This is the count in, so count in before this track, before you start recording, I'm guessing. And this is solo. If you want to make it to where you can see the solo for everything, just press this. And then you can mess around with that. So I hope this helps. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. And uh, follow me on Dreams. I'm Young Tech's YouTube on Dreams. I hope this helps you guys out. If you need to extend this, just hold X, extend, and so on.